Hello everyone and welcome back to Skypothesis. We create unique builds that combine cool aesthetics with engaging roleplay. As always, we take inspiration from a variety of sources in the world of fantasy entertainment and create our characters as if they were for a tabletop RPG. Today we are excited to showcase our latest build. This is the Saxlil Vagabond, an untraditional shadow scale. This assassin prefers to ravage his targets with his claws and blow them up with exploding crossbow bolts. Instead of tactically eliminating enemies one by one, this Argonian prefers to sneak into position and ambush with a sudden onslaught of violence. We had so much fun building this character, so without further ado, let's dig right into our latest build, the Saxlil Vagabond. Shadow Scales are Argonians, born under the sign of the shadow. As soon as they are able to walk, they are given to their local Dark Brotherhood chapter to be trained as elite stealth warriors. Throughout history, they have been used by Argonian leaders to end conflicts and threaten enemies. Despite being such an influential and powerful order for generations, their numbers declined as the Dark Brotherhood's foothold in Tamriel became almost non-existent. By the Fourth Era, Shadow Scales were nearly extinct. Argonians born under the sign of the Shadow lived normal lives as there were no Dark Brotherhood chapters around to train them in their arts. The Saxlil Vagabond was one such Argonian. Hatched from his egg under the sign of the Shadow, his mother wanted nothing more than to offer up her son to the Dark Brotherhood, as they would be able to provide a much better life for him than she would ever be able to. Her local chapter had been long since disbanded, but she heard whispers of a chapter that was still operational in Leowin, a few hundred miles across the border to Cyrodiil. Her journey was dangerous, and when she was just a day away from her destination, she was ambushed by a group of pirates on the shores of the Topal Sea. She was killed in the ambush, and the young Argonian was taken as a slave. As he was still a small child at this time, he had basically no memory of his mother or his former life. His life on the crew was rough, as pirate life tends to be. Beatings were common, so he learned how to fight with his fists to defend himself. As he grew older though, the pirates he sailed with noticed his strength and trained him in their arts of ambush and skill with a crossbow. He became an invaluable crew member who outgrew his slavery and proved his worth during thieving jobs on the mainland. During one such job, the crew docked in the city of Solrest in the southwestern corner of Black Marsh. Upon setting foot on land, the Saxlil Vagabond felt a strange awakening in his mind. He was drawn towards a certain hist tree deep in the marsh and drank its sap. His mind opened and he saw his mother carrying him across the border into Cyrodiil. He saw the sign of the shadow, the hand of the Dark Brotherhood, and felt the call of Sithis. His path led to the frozen north where the last functioning chapter of the Dark Brotherhood dwindled and knew it was his destiny to save the Order. He left his crew that night and began his journey north. The Saxlil Vagabond, raised as a pirate, has lived a rough, brutal life of crime. Murder is second nature to him, as is thieving and swindling. For his roleplay, he very well may become a wanted criminal in certain holds. A few nights in jail isn't enough to bother him. He gets results and doesn't care who sees his handiwork. He is a wild force of nature and has never met a problem that he can't solve with either his fists or his crossbow. Because of the importance of the crossbow in the Saxlil Vagabond's roleplay, we recommend heading to Fort Dawnguard right out of the gate to pick one up, along with some steel bolts strewn about the fort. It isn't that much of a roleplay stretch for the Vagabond to join the Dawnguard as he is able to kill vampires and pillage their riches. His top priority, however, should be joining the Dark Brotherhood. After escaping Helgen, your first stop in Skyrim should be a local tavern where you can catch whispers of where they might be located. After killing Grelod and meeting Astrid, the Saxlil Vagabond feels an overwhelming sense of peace, sensing his late mother's quest finally complete. He finds quickly, however, that he still has a lot to learn. He was trained as a pirate, not a true Shadow Scale, so his methods are much more rough and violent than his Shadow Scale counterpart, Vizara. He quickly earns the respect of this chapter of the Brotherhood, however, and fully embraces his role as listener. Rebuilding the Dawnstar Sanctuary is one of the most important roleplay objectives for the Saxlil Vagabond. The Hist chose him to be the savior of the Dark Brotherhood, one who would rebuild the Order out of obscurity. Through fully kitting out the Dawnstar Sanctuary, the Saxlil Vagabond can fulfill his duty to the Hist, thereby building a future where Shadow Scales might once again protect the Black Marsh. 
He is also a great fit for the Thieves Guild as he grew up swindling, thieving, and earning great amounts of coin as a pirate. His connection with Delvin helps bridge the gap between the Dark Brotherhood and the Guild, allowing for more profitable ventures on both sides. The main quest and Dragonborn DLC provide a great opportunity for the Saxlil Vagabond to hone his combat skills against the dragons, absorbing their power to become an even more dangerous listener. He is a chaotic, evil character, though his wild and violent actions are not done just for the sake of being evil. Rather, they are a result of his rough upbringing combined with his dark profession. Relevant side quests include Lights Out, The Treasure Maps, Unfathomable Depths, No One Escapes Sidna Mine, and Infiltration. Alright, it's time to move on to the Saxlil Vagabond's weapons and armor choices. He will use his fists for up-close combat. For most unarmed builds, Khajiit are the way to go. Though, Argonians also have a bonus to unarmed damage. While men and Mur races all have a base unarmed damage of 4, Argonians and Khajiit have a base damage of 10. Khajiit's passive ability Claws doubles this, but Argonian unarmed builds are still completely viable, especially when combined with powerful Fortify unarmed gear. For ranged combat, he will use the Enhanced Steel Crossbow and a combination of all the Exploding Bolts, Fire, Ice, and Shock, depending on the situation. If you follow the right steps of preparation, you can craft a basically unlimited amount of Exploding Bolts. Here's how we did it, and if you have another way that you prefer, please let us know in the comments. First, be sure to collect every soul gem you come across through your playthrough, no matter the size or whether or not it's filled. Next, acquire all the stones of Baron Zaya for the crown. While no stone unturned has a reputation for being ridiculously long, it can actually be done in just a few hours assuming you look up all the locations and have the funds to acquire Proud Spire Manor. Upon completing No Stone Unturned, you will receive the passive effect Prowler's Profit, which exponentially increases the rate that you find precious gems, to the point where basically every burial urn will give you a few. Next, obtain as many salt piles as possible. They are super cheap and can be purchased from any innkeeper or ingredients vendor. Finally, head to the Atronach Forge to create some special salts. One salt pile, soul gem, and ruby will create fire salts, sapphire for frost salts, and amethyst for void salts. Assuming you have been collecting soul gems and salt piles from the start of your playthrough, and after looting just a few Nordic ruins, you will craft more salts than you will know what to do with. Finally, craft the salts together with a steel ingot and firewood for your exploding elemental bolts. While this process sounds long and complicated, it actually is surprisingly doable. Following this method, you will always be able to be completely stocked up on exploding bolts, and will be able to start your ambushes off right. In terms of armor, we chose this outfit based almost entirely on the aesthetic, as the mismatched armor pieces look like something a rugged vagabond from the southern coast of Tamriel would wear. We wore the Ancient Shrouded Cowl, offering a 35% boost to archery, Morag Tong armor enchanted with Fortify Health regen and Fortify Health, a ring enchanted with Fortify Unarmed and Fortify Health, an amulet enchanted with Fortify Archery and Fortify Health, Vampire Boots enchanted with Muffle and Fortify Carry Weight for all your pillaged loot, and finally Ancient Nord Gauntlets enchanted with Fortify Unarmed and Fortify Archery. These enchantments will boost unarmed damage and crossbow damage like crazy, in addition to making the Saxil Vagabond a lot tankier in terms of health. Once again, these armor pieces were chosen entirely because we think they look really cool together, especially the ancient Nord gauntlets as they let the Argonian claws stay visible while still being heavy armor for an increase in unarmed damage. Moving on to the Saxil Vagabond's spells and shouts. He will be using Ebony Flesh for increased tankiness, along with Fast Healing to heal himself when his health gets low. For Shouts, he will use Aura Whisper, Become Ethereal, Slow Time, Dismay, Throw Voice, Unrelenting Force, and Whirlwind Sprint. Moving on to the Saxlil Vagabond's stats and perk spread. We leveled him with a ratio of 1 Magicka, 2 Health, and 1 Stamina. He was born under the sign of the shadow, and as such it would just feel wrong to use any standing stone other than the shadow. As he is not a vampire and will not be perking alchemy or illusion, the standing stone actually becomes quite useful, as it allows you to turn invisible once per day. Use it wisely. He is of course an Argonian, granting him the super powerful racial ability, Hist Skin. By the time you reach level 40, you will want the following perks. In Archery, take all 5 in Overdraw eagle eye and one in steady hand. Crossbows are very powerful and these perks will help further the damage to get off a deadly first shot. 
We didn't feel the need to perk Quickshot or Ranger, as after the first explosive shot, the Saxleal Vagabond usually switches to his fists. In Heavy Armor, we take one in Juggernaut so we can take the Fists of Steel perk for increased unarmed damage. In Enchanting, take all five in Enchanter and follow the middle of the tree up to extra effect. In Restoration, we will be taking the Novice and Apprentice perks along with Regeneration for fast healing. Alteration will help drastically with the Saxleal Vagabond's survivability. We will be taking Novice through Expert Alteration, Dual Casting, 2 in Magic Resistance, Stability, and Atronach. Finally, in Sneak, we will be taking all 5 in Stealth and following the left curve all the way up to Shadow Warrior. If you plan to play past level 40, you could definitely put more perks in the Archery Tree, along with the Restoration Tree. As it stands though, this Vagabond packs a powerful punch, and excels at surprise attacks and taking out targets quickly. Alright, it's time to move on to the Saxleal Vagabond's special moves. These are move combinations that we create to help a character feel unique from other similar builds. They are near infinite ability combinations and would love to see what cool combos you come up with. The Saxleal Vagabond's first special move is called Panic and is performed by combining Dismay with your exploding crossbow bolts. The fleeing enemies become target practice to the Saxleal Vagabond, taking cover terrified from the sudden, concentrated explosives. His next special move is Smoke Bomb, performed by using Become Ethereal, Shadow Warrior, Hist Skin, and the Shadow Stone. When your health gets low and you have to evade, first activate Hist Skin for rapid healing, then use Become Ethereal to become invulnerable to damage, Follow it up by crouching to activate Shadow Warrior, and finally use the Shadow Stone to become invisible and slip away into the shadows, preparing for your next strike. Finally, we have Ambush, done by breaking your silence with Unrelenting Force, Nightingale Subterfuge, and following that up with Exploding Bolts. Like a crash of thunder, you will emerge from the shadows, blasting your opponents against a wall where they become sitting ducks to your ranged explosives. In their confusion, they will not know friend from foe and attack each other, making them easier targets. This is our favorite way to start combat as the Saxleal Vagabond. Alright, with the special moves completed, we are ready to wrap up this build video. We set out to create a unique Argonian assassin who combines the brutal unarmed kill moves with the satisfying explosions of the exploding crossbow bolts. We hope you enjoyed this build video and have an even better time playing it through. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notified when we post a new build video. We still have one more build planned for this season and we can't wait to share it with you all. Thank you so much for helping us keep the magic of Skyrim alive. We'll see you next time, right here on Skypothesis.